Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be using Madame Glam polishes today. These are the two I'm going to be using. So this is actually part of the uh, She Modern collab. So uh, the theme is butterflies, which obviously is my favourite. So these, these are the tips I'm going to use today. So I will apply the first coat with you and then I will apply the second coat off camera. Um, if you don't know, Madame Glenn Gel Polishes cure in a LED light for six, uh, 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your lamp. And in a UV, it's two minutes. And I have a direct link um, and a discount code in the description box as well. So I thought these colours went really well together. And they sort of like, yeah, I didn't want it to be, I wanted it to be a bit different. So... I'm going to be using, um, obviously, She Modern products. Um, I, do, I do have a discount code for She Modern as well <laughs> for use on the shemodern.com website as well. Um, if you're in the US, you can order from the main website. Um, if you are international, then you can order off Amazon, um, amazon.com, uh, and you get a really good deal on there as well. So it's always worth checking it out. These tips just didn't want to sit on these stands today. I don't know why. You can see it's just moving about. I don't know. I don't know. But coming up is uh, two coats. And oh, these colours are really nice. So that is two coats. I'm going to apply a matte top coat. Um, it's not Madame Glam. It's a different brand. Um, so I will apply a matte top coat. Because we're going to be doing some stamping. So first up is the stamping plates. So the first plate is Nicole Diary L43, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to use the She Modern Opaque Black Sticky Stamping Polish. Um, so I, I will show you, this is only slightly sped up. So what I want to do is I want to take this butterfly and stamp it on two separate nails. Um, because I thought, well, yeah, it's quite it's quite big, so you wouldn't have been able to fit it all on one nail. So I thought, well, if I cut it in half, <laughs> then I can apply one half to one and one half to the other nail. So I'm just taking off what I don't want, and then I will stamp it down. This stamper I'm using is the She Modern Reinforced Stamper as well. Basically, that means it's got a plate in it, so when you push down on it, it won't cave in. Um, you can remove the plate as well if if you need to just take the head out and it's it's on like the back of the head but it comes off um just in case you didn't know so just gonna wait for it just so just to let it catch up a little bit i really do like this plate it's so pretty so i will stamp that on now And then I will show you them side by side. I was just sort of eyeballing it, but that ain't bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to be using watercolour polishes. I know. So these are the colours we're going to be use. We are going to be using opaque yellow, jelly pink, neon, sheer jelly orange and jelly blue. All watercolour polishes. So um, I will take a brush and I'm just going to start painting it on. Um, I haven't really used these, so I thought I would dig them out today. So basically the watercolour polishes are similar to um, alcohol inks but they don't dry instantly. Um, so and I mean obviously this opaque yellow one is a very very opaque. You can sheet these out with a tiny bit of water um, but I wouldn't, unless that's the look you're going for, I wouldn't apply too much water because otherwise it's going to take far too long to dry. Um, what I did with this is after I was finished obviously the painting because we're going to do this on both butterflies once I had finished I put them under a blowing fan um, and you'll be able to tell um, if they're dry or not you can just give them a very very slight touch and you'll be able to see so I thought these colours went really really nicely together I wanted to get a good little mix of you know all of them together but I didn't want it to take forever as well so um, yeah we will continue applying these. I'm going to apply it to both of the butterflies. I think what I'll do is I think I'll pop some music on and just let you watch this bit. Because, I mean, you can see what I'm doing anyway. Um, so 
so I'm just like you know just sort of applying it on where where I'm happy with it to go on so yeah I will pop some music on and just let you watch for a bit and then I shall come back I'm going to be using this damping plate I got off of AliExpress, I think, and another Nicole Diary, Nicole Diary 100. So here, what I'm going to do is, um, I am going to take one of the layering flowers and I'm going to apply them onto the nail and then I will paint them with the, um, with the water paints again. Um, so I will paint one blue and one yellow, I believe. Um, so I will speed this up so it doesn't take ages. These are so easy to use. I actually really, really enjoyed using these. If you want me to use them again, just let me know. Um, yeah, I, re I really like, I really like using them. They're very, very different. I forgot how much I enjoyed using them because I haven't used them in such a long time. I had actually forgotten how much I liked them. There, when I go off camera, I'm just literally just dry wiping the brush off because I don't want to make it wet because I don't want to shear the colours out. Um, so I'm just wiping it just on a bit of paper towel, just like, you know, you would normally clean your brush if you were using, you know, gel polish or whatever. That's the same way that I'm cleaning the brush because I don't want to shear it out with water or anything. So, um, yeah. So these are done. And now I'm going to take the layered butterfly image i'm not going to use the all three parts of the layering i'm just going to use this part and the outline so i'm going to line it up where i want it took me quite a while to decide where i wanted it and as you could see the stamp head didn't cave in which is very very handy and then what we'll do is we will color these in as well so i will pop a little bit more music on and then i shall come back in a minute okay Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to add another plate. Born Pretty Frenchy Floral. Oh, I didn't catch the number, but I will have it down in the description box. I'm so sorry I didn't like wipe it off. Normally I buff it off, but for some reason I didn't. I'm so sorry. And so I thought I would keep these two nails very simple. There's no bling in this set. I know, shocking. Um, so, yep, yeah, I just thought, well... I'll just keep it very simple. So I've stamped these two images and I do stamp another image, uh, follow that on a bit. There you go. And I'm going to use sheer gold metallic pearl. Um, this is a pigment. So I thought I would add a little bit of shimmer to these because I didn't want to just leave them just plain white. And obviously because it's just the outline, the watercolours probably wouldn't have, well, they would have shown up on the white, but they wouldn't have shown up over the blue. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just add a little bit of shimmer. So that's what I did. I just applied it and then just brush it off. And then this is the next one. And I thought this looked very, very pretty. Just gave it just that little bit of, yeah, so it wasn't completely plain, but it wasn't overpowering. It gave it a very, very nice little shimmer. And as you can see, I'm just taking my finger and just pushing it in and then brush it off very pretty so now we're going to apply the outline so i had to i had to go off and sort of like line it up kind of sort of off camera because i couldn't see so, <laughs> so i'm going to apply the outline of the two flowers and the butterflies after i've lined them all up and then i will apply the uh, shimmer to this as well I'll do it off camera, but I will show you what it looks like. It took me ages to figure out how to do this. And part of the the very top butterfly was missing. So I had to go back in and just pick up that tiny little bit. But I will show you in a second. So that's it with the shimmer applied. And this is this set done. So I'm going to apply a glossy top coat. Um, and then I will show you a little snap, a little snippet of it with a glossy and I will have glossy and matte pictures at the end. Well, let me know your thoughts down below and let me know if you'd like to see me use the watercolours again. Um, there will be a playlist link in the description box, so please check that out. And uh, yeah, let me know any thoughts you have. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.